Over the past 12 months, these mobile phone detection cameras have snapped more than 63,000 candy motorists using their mobile phone while driving. That's an average of 180 per day. But as of Tuesday this week, the penalties have started. Holding one of these will cost you $514 and three demerit points. And if it's found you were using the internet or sending a text message, it's even more. So here's what you can and here's what you can't do. As long as your car is not in park, you can't touch your phone. And yes, that includes the traffic lights and during school pickups and drop-offs. You can't do this, or this, or this, or even this. Provided you have a full licence, you can use it for GPS directions, phone calls, music, podcasts, karaoke, as long as it's securely mounted in a cradle and connected to the car's sound system via Bluetooth. However, you can only touch it to answer a call. If you're a learner or P plater, you can only use it for GPS and audio. No phone calls, even with Bluetooth. And yes, that does technically make it an offence to skip a Taylor Swift song. And yes, there are exceptions for taxi and Uber drivers who are allowed to accept job requests, provided the phone is in its cradle. Sooner or later, however, we'll all find ourselves here, in the McDonald's drive through wanting to pay with our phone. Also technically illegal, but ACT policing says they'll apply discretion in these cases. Probably best to put it in the park if you don't want a very expensive cheeseburger.